Remember a few weeks back when I covered Augment Code, the first AI agent built specifically for professional software engineers and large code bases? Well, they're back again with a major new upgrade. And honestly, this might be the best open source competitor to Cursor and Windsurf right now. Just today, they've officially launched Augment Agent. This is an AI pair programmer that deeply understands your code base and learns as you work. Kind of like how Windsurf has Cascade and Cursor has Composer. But here's a real kicker. Augment just hit number one on the Sway Bench Verified Test with a 65.4 percentage success rate, which is just insane. And this makes it the top performing open source agent on real world software engineering tasks. They pulled this off by combining the Claude 3.7 Sonnet as the core driver and the OpenAI 01 model for assembling without relying on any sort of proprietary models. And the best part is, they've open sourced their entire Sway Bench pipeline from dockerized agents to evaluation scripts. While Sway Bench focuses mostly on Python bug fixes, Augment is already moving towards faster, cheaper, and more scalable agents with fine-tuned models and deep IDE integrations, which is putting serious pressure on players like Cursor and Windsurf. You can see Augment Agent in action. It's quite similar to many of the other agents that we saw on this channel, and you can see that it is something that can easily and autonomously execute any command such as building you applications, using MCPs, and much more. Guys, I have also posted on my second channel, so I highly recommend that you go ahead and subscribe and take a look at the videos that I'm going to be posting here on a daily basis. This is where I'm going to be trying my best to make sure that you guys stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. So go ahead and subscribe over here with the link in the description below. Now here's another demo of Augment Agent in action. In this case, it is where it is completing this complex task from a single prompt where it can plan different changes, edit multiple files, ran different tests in this case, and even opened a pull request all within the IDE. The agent correctly handled the scene data structure with confidence scores on its first try, which is showcasing its real world agentic performance. Augment Agent also supports next level visual debugging, where you can simply go ahead and drag in different screenshots and the agent identifies the UI issues, whether it's with CSS, layouts, or even logic, and it's gonna go ahead and suggest the fix with its agentic capabilities and even run only the relevant test. It's super streamlined and it's a great way for you to debug front ends with minimal efforts. Augment Agent also comes with persistent memory where it learns from your coding style, remembers past refactors, and adapts your infrastructure and conventions. The more you use it, the smarter it's going to get so you're never starting from scratch. Now this is why I actually made a video initially on Augment Code previously because it had amazing capabilities in terms of fully understanding your code base and now we have this new upgrade with the release of Augment Agent that has persistent memory which is going to make your coding workflow experience super easy and seamless. Now Augment Code also is having you the ability to use MCP servers and this is where it's going to extend the full on capability of this agent even further like you would with Klein, like you would with Cursor, and like you would with Windsurf. You can actually plug in APIs, SQL, CLI tools, and more through a simple settings.json file. It works seamlessly with tools like Supabase, Figma, Cloudflare, and so many others, which is going to make the agent even more powerful and versatile. Now, just to give you some context on why I really wanted to make this video is because this is something that is capable of working with large code bases. Cursor might not cut it in terms of its context limit, which is set to around 10k tokens. But with Augment Code and now with its Agenta capabilities, it's able to handle projects with tens of thousands of lines effortlessly. And this is thanks to its blazing fast indexing. Now, that's why I really wanted to make a video on this because now we know that it had the capability of large context uh, awareness, but with its uh, new feature of having uh, this agentic capability, it's going to make it even more effortless and it's going to be even easier and faster to work with indexing. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free.
To get started, it's really simple. You just need to have it installed within your IDE. I'm going to be installing it with Visual Studio Code. And what you can do is head over to the Augment Code website, which is a link that I'll leave in the description below. And you can simply click Install Now. This will then go ahead and make you create an account, which is completely for free. Then you can go ahead and download the extension for whatever ID you would like. So in this case, I'm going to do it for VS Code. So I'm going to select this and then open it up within my IDE. And then I can go ahead and install this extension, which is free. So once it has finished installing, I can then go ahead and access it on the left end panel. Let me just showcase something in general. This is where I'm going to go ahead and create a code editor on its own with the agentic capabilities of Augment. We're going to create a project and now you can see that it is now going to go ahead and start building within that. So what we can do now is go within the chat interface and select agent. Now you can either set this on auto run, but we're going to go ahead and keep this on agent mode. And this is where we can now go ahead and have it work on creating anything. So now you can see that within this interface, we can go ahead and give it natural language instructions, like creating a simple AI editor. Now we can go ahead and send in this prompt and you can see that the augment agent is going to go ahead and work on creating this so it can make and uh, execute terminal based commands which you see over here you're going to be able to add and provide context you can even uh, have it so that you can provide context to specific files so we can have it so that it could add multiple files or it could add a full-on workspace that has a larger context size than cursor which is just impressive but let's see what it ends up working on after it autonomously executes these things you can see right now it is going to start working on the project setup so we can go ahead and approve this now what you can also do is you can set this on auto approve so you don't need to intervene and it can execute all these commands autonomously which is something that i wouldn't really recommend because you would want to oversight have some sort of oversight over all the code that is being generated now you can see that it is working on indexing the code base which is just insane because it's capable of now having memory which will then have it reference the past interactions for future generation and there we go augment agent was capable of autonomously creating this ai code editor and you can see that i'm actually able to use this functional editor where it can run scripts you can change different formats you can also have it so that there's different languages that you can work with now this was all capable because of augment agent using its prior context that i had uploaded as well as having the ability to autonomously execute everything within its own terminal if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more overall i definitely believe that this is a great alternative to cursor and it actually beats it thanks to its free option so this is why i definitely recommend that you try it out not just because of the free option but because of the performance that it provides it is something that has a lot of features that you would see within many of these other ai coding agents like windsurfs cascade as well as the composer feature within cursor so i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you subscribe to the new channel follow me on the newsletter patreon to join our private discord and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas